thanks for uh, coming um, to the press conference for the Eurogroup meeting, which lasted until seven tonight. Um, let me debrief you on the outcome of our meeting today. It's been a particularly important meeting because we discussed uh, and decided on uh, two exits, uh, on Ireland and on Spain. I will also report on other program countries and debrief you on the um, uh, state of play of discussion on the banking union very briefly, say a few words about the economic situation, which Oli will say more about, um, and highlight what you can expect from next week's meeting of the Eurogroup, which will be about the draft budgetary plans. Uh, first, we discussed the two countries that are about to exit their uh, program, uh, Ireland and Spain. And I would like to congratulate both countries at this important moment for the Eurogroup. Uh, both countries have always shown strong commitment uh, towards the implementation of their programs, and this has shown results um, as the recent developments on the finan financial markets have shown. The Irish and Spanish people have gone through a uh, difficult period but I'm now confident that their efforts will pay off in the coming years. Now these economies are back on the road to recovery. On Ireland, a statement has been uh, dis distributed uh, to you. Let me just highlight the main points, uh, starting by saying that we fully support uh, Ireland's decision to request a clean exit from the program. Program implementation has been very successful, as evidenced by the return of market confidence the ongoing econo economic recovery and declining unemployment. We have full uh, um, uh, confidence in the ability of the Irish government to maintain the reform momentum in order to address the remaining challenges in the fiscal, banking and structural areas. The final review will uh, unlock a last disbursement of 800 million, but Klaus will probably go into that after me. Uh, there's also a statement uh, being distributed on uh, Spain, uh, and our message is uh, very similar to the one uh, on Ireland. Uh, we also fully support the Spanish uh, decision uh, to cleanly exit the program. Thanks to the program, the Spanish banks are now stronger, more resilient, supervision and regulation have been tightened, and this is confirmed by the positive market sentiment and the encouraging recent economic data from Spain. Structural reform agenda has advanced in parallel, allowing a return to growth and a decrease in the macroeconomic imbalances. And the Spanish authorities are determined to keep the reform momentum, as I noticed when I visited uh, Madrid two weeks ago. A few remarks on uh, other program countries which we discussed today. On Cyprus, we took stock of the main results of the second review mission to Nicosia that ended last week. Uh, overall, the program seems well on track and all fiscal targets were met with comfortable margins. In addition, we were glad to hear that significant progress had been made towards recapitalization and restructuring of the financial sector of Cyprus. Finally, some words on Greece. The Greek authorities um, need urgently to deliver on four main areas. First of all, the milestones agreed at the previous review. Second, the measures to close the fiscal gap in 2014 and 15. Thirdly, structural reform. Then fourth, the improvement of the governance of the privatization process. We need progress on these four outstanding areas in order to uh, be able to conclude the review for the Troika to be able to conclude the review. Uh, we are, of course, aware of the efforts already undertaken by Greece, but the job is not yet done. And in order to return to a path of sustainable growth and job creation, the program has to be further implemented. Uh, we also uh, talked about the banking union today in the Eurogroup, shortly discussed the state of play, as we will regularly do in the coming months, and, of course, the... Um, uh, the main debates uh, uh, on the banking union and the legislation will be done in the ECOFIN. We dis focused our discussion today on two points. First, the issue of public backstops 
in view of next year's stress tests. Uh, we are working on a statement that will provide clarity to all participants on the order of the backstops. Uh, the elements are, of course, well known. Private uh, solutions must be uh, explored first. Then, and only if no private solutions can be found, public money could be engaged at a national level in line with state aid rules. And if a member state could not afford to contribute, then the ESM could come into play. We will uh, f continue that debate and that discussion uh, in the ECOFIN uh, tomorrow, and the ECOFIN president will tell you more afterwards. On the economic uh, situation, we discussed the Commission's autumn forecast released last week, as well as the annual growth survey and alert mechanism report that were published yesterday. And of course, I will let Oli say more on that in detail. Let me just say that the economic outlook for the euro area seems to become more positive. However, important challenges remain, such as the high level of public and private debt and record high levels of employ unemployment. So there is no reason to be complacent. Um, finally, uh, next week we will have an extra uh, dedicated Eurogroup meeting, um, which will be an important milestone for fiscal surveillance in the Euro area, as this will be the first time that we will adjust, that we will discuss uh, draft budgetary plans on the basis of the Commission's assessment uh, of all Euro area member states. Uh, this will show that we are following up on our commit commitment to strengthen fiscal policy coordination. So that will be the main aim for our meeting next week. Ollie, can I ask you to fill in on that?